Den Corporation Party with Underage Entertainment. This article was written by Admin. Source, WikiLeak. Document ID, 09KABUL1651. A leaked cable from the U.S. Embassy in Kabul to Washington about conversation between Afghan Interior Minister Hanif Mar and U.S. Assistant Ambassador Joseph Musomeli in Kabul revealed child prostitution in a setting unimagined in the Western world. The cable message number 09KABUL1651 dating June 24, 2009, was released from WikiLeaks early this month. The cable reveals the purchasing the service from a child by Afghan officials and civilians at a party organized by Din Corporation, a DC-based corporation working in Afghanistan to train police officers. Serving today for a safe tomorrow, Din Corporation certainly has an unpleasant idea of the future. Mohammed Hanif Mar, former Minister of Rural Rehabilitation and Development, as well as Minister of Education, had been appointed Interior Minister of Afghanistan for barely half a year ago at the time of the conversation with Assistant Ambassador Joseph Musomeli. The party in Kunduz Corporation organized on the 11th of April was similar to a Bakubazi party. Bakubazi, translated as playing with children, is a business more common in southern Afghanistan but still a frowned upon cultural thing in Afghanistan as a whole. Prepubescent children, often boys, are dressed and forced to dance before a crowd of wealthy or otherwise influential men. The bachas, or dancing boys, are then auctioned off to the highest bidder and are used for entertainment or sexual purposes. During the conversation that Mar emphasizes the sensitivity of the incident, he urges that the U.S. try to squash any news article on the event, as well as on a video connected to it. The reason for keeping the scandal out of the press could be, as Atmar suggested, that publication would endanger lives. Atmar was worried since Afghan President Karzai threatened Atmar's prestige was at stake for his management of the Din Corporation scandal and the killing of several Afghan citizens by Blackwater mercenaries. The cable claims an investigation has been started and Din Corporation leaders were taken disciplinary actions against. A widely anticipated newspaper article on the Kunduz scandal has not appeared but, if there is too much noise that may prompt the journalist to publish the message to Washington predicts, and rightfully so. Din Corporation received more than 96% of its profits from the U.S. government. Moreover, Din Corporation has been criticized for not accounting for $1.2 billion of contract task orders. Thank <laughs> you.